morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for Saturday the 11th of June 2022. Look at yesterday's results then for Friday the 10th. We're at York on the flat, the 440. Uh, we were looking at this um, uh, two horses in the race. Uh, number four, Nasher, which came third at five to two. And uh, Poppy Carew, which is an FTO, first time outer, uh, came fourth at 13 to two. And the eventual winners were this number one, Mercy. Uh, which we've been on before in the past, but we weren't on this time, and that one at five to one. Uh, we had a quarter of a unit on each, uh, and so we lost half a unit in the accounts down to 41.985 units in profit, so 42 units basically. Um, right, what do we know about that? Uh, well, the FTO was uh, was obviously uh, didn't fire properly, got outpaced, uh, Poppy Carew, um, and this Nasher was uh, um, a front running six furlong horse that faded. Uh, now in a five furlong race at York, which was modelled at 100. Uh, uh, and um, the, the only thing wrong was we underestimated this Mercy, uh, uh, and um, uh, the analysis was flawed, relatively speaking, because uh, that had front run uh, and made all that Carlisle, uh, which uh, we should have picked up on and we didn't. Uh, so there, there you have it. It's, uh, so it's sort of a, an analysis error, if you like. Um, but that would have made made the overall sort of complexion of the race uh, three horses. It'd have been a bit sort of um, cluttered. Uh, the FTO uh, was a possibility, as as you know. So anyway, uh, we'll have to leave that there. Um, the execution was was okay. Uh, the analysis was slightly flawed, and of course this must say. Uh, uh, came in and stuffed us but uh, so we'll stop it there and write up today's racing right we're back we're in up today's racing then for saturday the 11th uh, of june we've got no filter one which is our structure filter we've got no uh, ratio in that uh, ratio uh, filter we do have an alternate it's at leicester on the flat 715 uh, it's a selling stakes um three to five year old six foot on good to firm and it's modeled at 97 so it's pretty quick uh it's a fairly fast uh, um, six furlong, uh, relatively speaking, at Leicester. Uh, and um, uh, it cuts up accordingly. You've got this number four, Watermelon Sugar, which is a 10 to 11 favourite. And we, we, this is like, uh, it's one about its last four races on the trot, but they've all been low graded. It's a, it's a uh, uh, sort of a, it's a, it, it's, it's a selling grade horse that's, uh, very vulnerable to something coming along and uh, clobbering it uh, and so we've given that the chop uh, and and the three that are likely to clobber it are number one nearly a goner which we've got 0.25 a unit on at seven to two uh, on sportsbook uh, and we've got uh, 0.25 a unit on this uh, chief little hawk uh, on the exchanges on average we've got 6.2 to one so sort of between six and Six and a half, thirteen to two, and we got. Uh, I'm going to go at this number three. Yeah, yeah, as a man, uh, zero point two five at eight point one zero to one on average. So uh, over eight to one. So um, so we're basically um, batting against this watermelon sugar, which is the uh, evens to slightly odds on favourite. Um, uh, and, and any one of these horses, if you look at their uh, form, is well capable of beating uh, this watermelon sugar. The other horses in the race are outgunned as far as we're concerned. So, so basically, uh, you, what you're doing is you're is you're uh, betting against this uh, this watermelon sugar with uh, one of three there. So uh, uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, and there's a reasonable margin on that. I mean, if if uh, number one comes in, uh, we'll make a small profit. And it's uh, it sort of progresses through. So, uh, uh, and if Yaz and Man comes in, uh, decent, decent uh, profit given the risk return. So uh, that's where we are. Um, normally, uh, doing three horses against one is 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 uh, is okay. Uh, it's it's much you know when you're dividing the units up into into fractions. Um, so our exposure is 0.75 of a unit. Anyway, anyway, you can take it or leave it on that. But uh, so that that looks a pretty sound risk to us. Uh, and this, uh, any if you look if you look through the uh, the form, any one of these horses is well up to uh, beating this watermelon sugar. So uh, that's where we are. So. Uh, 
How's it gone? Well, we, we've had a we had a good patch and then and then it slipped away a bit. Um, the analysis has been a bit rocky over the last two or three days, uh, and the execution uh, mix as well. So uh, hopefully we'll get them back on track with this uh, and then we can get the cat going again. So um, anyway, um, if you subscribe, thanks very much, and uh, generally thanks for watching and goodbye.